guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a TMI get to know me tag. Um, I have the questions pulled up here, so I'm just going to start answering them. First question, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a button up shirt, denim shirt. I don't know, I bought it like back at home when I was like in high school. Um, ever been in love? Yes. No. Yes. No. Ever had a terrible breakup? Yes. How tall are you? I'm five seven and a half. I just say five eight to make it easier, but every time I get measured, they say I'm five seven and a half. Um, any tattoos? Nope. Any piercings? Yes, I have my ears pierced. I used to have my um, belly button pierced. I have my nose pierced. I have my cartilage pierced. And I had one other piercing, but I'm not going to mention that. Um, let's see. Favorite bands? I don't listen to like bands, bands, like rock bands or anything like that. But I mean, I'll say like all of like 2000s girl groups and boy, boy bands or whatever. Like obviously what? B2K. Um, Backstreet Boys, In Sync, then obviously, you know, Destiny's Child, Danny Kane, like all those early 2000s, like, um, girl groups and boy groups that were out. Um, something that you miss, I'll definitely say my childhood. I say that almost every day because I feel like I just had, like, a really good childhood. I, I wasn't spoiled, but I was definitely, like, well taken care of. I mean, of course, there were negative parts. But for the most part, my childhood, just everything that I remember just being with my mom and like, I mean, even my dad too, like, I just enjoyed my childhood. Like, everything was good. Um, how old am I? I'm, yes. I'm 19. A lot of people don't think I'm like, a lot of people don't think I'm that young, but I am. And I'm a junior in college as of now. Zodiac sign, Scorpio. My birthday's November 5th. So, yeah. Quality you look for in a partner. I always look for loyalty, basic answer, you know, whatever. But obviously loyalty, a sense of humor. And then just like comfortability, just a person that like makes me feel comfortable around them and then I feel like super comfortable or they feel super comfortable around me so like you know oh and also this is actually first and foremost faith it's something that I've found that is very important now getting older you can't just say well he's cute and nice like no he needs to like have some type of relationship with God or like be helping you build up your relationship with God like or y'all can be growing together like at least be doing something because these guys out here I don't know they're like I don't know they need Jesus my favorite quote I'm not like a quote kind of girl like I don't just know quote one thing I've always said to myself was Philippians 4 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me very basic everybody knows that scripture but I mean that's honestly my favorite quote it's truly lived by it it's just like anything that I do I know that it can be done and will be done through the grace of you know God so that's definitely my favorite quote as of right now um loud or soft music I like I don't know what that means like if it means like loud banging music or soft soothing music or does it mean like loud music or quiet music because I like soft soothing music like I like R&B like that's my kind of music or whatever like just something smooth and whatever soft I guess but I, I like for it to be played loud so loud soft whatever um where do you go when sad um I mean to my room I don't know wherever I'm at I'll just be sad there I don't know I mean I'll pray if that counts as going somewhere I'll go to God ever been in a physical fight um not that I know of I wasn't fighting anybody but they were fighting me so maybe I'll talk about that like in a story time or something like that but I've never been in a fight but someone has fought me if that makes sense so we'll see turn-ons <clears throat> 
Turn-ons would be like intelligence off top, obviously um, cleanliness, like knowing, having good hygiene, smelling good, looking good. <laughs> um, like I said, intelligence, humor, like I said earlier. Um, just, oh, passion, like someone who's very passionate about everything that they do. That's definitely a huge turn on. Um, just in any like partners that I would be looking for or whatever turn offs um, basically the opposite of everything I just said if you're not that that's a turn off and then um, not having any or not trying to create a bond with God like that is a huge turn off um, if he doesn't even love God like how can he love me at least try so to turn off if you're not even trying or if I'm like trying to tell you something about it and you're just kind of like eh, yeah whatever I mean we're young da, da, da. um also a turn off would be like not having a good relationship with your family family because I mean family values that's just basic like you need to have that to be like a well-rounded human being so that's a turn off as well um last time you said you left someone my mom, I just spoke to her on the phone this morning, told her I love her. Audio um, meaning behind your YouTube name. My YouTube name is just, well, my first YouTube name, because I've had my YouTube since 2009, okay? And I first made my YouTube channel with the name Mrs. C14. And of course, that was the time here where everybody was putting like, for Mrs. you put M-R-S-Z C capital C you know maybe mix up some letters 14 and then put your favorite number I think I was probably four I wasn't 14 well I don't know but I just like that number I guess I don't know and like so it was real ghetto or whatever but my my YouTube my YouTube name I changed it since then um it's just my name Chidi Chinaka um my full name is Chidima Chinaka Chidima means God is good so that's the meaning behind it my parents gave me that name so um I mean, God is good. Every time you say my name, you're praising God. Last book I read. I'm not trying to sound like super like, oh, I'm so holy. I mean, I love God, but it was just the Bible. I mean, I don't just read books. It's just, it would just have to be the Bible because I read it last night. Then, um, last person you talk to, Audrey. She's right there. Um, place you want to visit. I want to visit a lot of places, like a lot of places. I can't even pick one right now. I mean, mind you, I've been to a lot of places. I've been out of the country numerous times. I've like been everywhere, like not everywhere, but I mean, I've been to most places that I could say I want to go to. I mean, I want to go to California. That's kind of basic. I've never been to California out of all the places I've been to, never. So definitely soon though, going to Cali very soon. Do I have a crush? No. Um, what instrument do you play? Well, I uh, don't play any instruments currently, but in high, I mean in junior high, no middle school, whatever, um, it's actually called intermediate school where I'm from, but fifth and sixth grade, I played the clarinet and I mean band was cool back then so I mean don't look at me that's my way like I mean I played the clarinet I loved it all my friends were in band at the time like everyone wanted to do band then of course when we went to junior high we were like oh that's lame we need to go do something like cool like choir you know something else art I won like a gold medal for something like it was some type of competition that we like had and it was like all the clarinet players in Texas were judged by the same um, judges, panel judges, and I was like in the top 16, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to play anymore. Um, last time you hung out with someone, um, if you want to count Audrey, I'm hanging out with Audrey right now. She's right there, again, like I said. Uh, she's watching me film the video. And then the reason I joined YouTube. So I saved this question for last. Like I said earlier, I started my YouTube channel back in 2009. That was back when everyone was doing like these collab channels where everyone would have like a different day of the week and they would like all film like, okay, somebody would film Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, like just a different person every day. Then everyone was doing like Forever 21 hauls. That was when Juicy Star 07 was really in and popping and um, 
I mean, she was like the main person that I watched and then just people that are just basically like her. I know I watched her sister too um, and her boyfriend. So basically, um, that was just like, those were like the only people on YouTube at the time. Like nobody was like doing much else other than those things. Then I remember there was a time period where everyone was doing like music videos where you kind of like pick your favorite song and then like you and your friends would kind of like act out what the song is doing. And I tried to make videos like that, you know, like super cool editing and all that, but you know, that didn't work out. I delete all those, so y'all aren't gonna find any of those. Then, um, I don't know, just ever since then, I had gone through years, like, off and on trying to, like, start a YouTube channel, and I'll, like, post a video one day, and I'll delete the video, and then I'll post it the next day, tell all my friends, and then delete it, because it's just, like, I was always, like, oh my gosh, I look bad, oh my gosh, I don't like this video, oh my gosh, no, everyone's gonna think it's weird, I don't know why, I, I mean, I wasn't self-conscious, but I was just, like, what's the point of putting this out, like, is anyone even gonna watch it, type of thing, so, I finally, like, mustered up the courage, and now, after, like, seeing this new, like, community on YouTube, it made me more, um, like, it, it gave me more courage to start it. Like, a lot of the YouTubers that I watch right now, um, I definitely watch Symphony Soto. She's one of the newer YouTubers, but she, like, is a very down-to-earth person. Like, I can, I can relate to her. I like that, you know what I'm saying? I follow a lot of bloggers. I can't remember this one girl's name that I watched. Um, I always I watched like um, Raina Lee's, Jayla Corian, um, Ashley D Beauty, Vicky Logan, and the list goes on. It's just like all of these girls are just like regular girls, just like me, and they were able to just put themselves out there and start a YouTube channel, um, no matter how they felt about what other people are gonna think or whatever. So I finally like got my stuff together and started a YouTube channel. So that's why um, I'm here on YouTube now, and I hope that you like my content, but I want to thank you anyways for watching my video today, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.